Hey everyone, today we're diving into the classic Jurassic Park cast, Then vs. Now. It's been over 30 years since this groundbreaking movie roared into theaters, and the original lineup remains legendary. We've got icons like Sam Neill, Laura Dern, Jeff Goldblum, and Richard Attenborough, who led the charge back in 1993. Plus, we can't forget about memorable faces like Bob Peck, Martin Ferrero, and B.D. Wong. But there's a lot more to the story, and more names, that we just can't cover in one go. So buckle up because this is Jurassic Park actors then and now. The door locks! Ellie, boot up the door locks! Back in 1993, Sam Neill's rugged portrayal of paleontologist Dr. Alan Grant became iconic. At the time, he was 45 years old. Fast forward to now, and Neill is 76 years old, still carrying that sharp, seasoned look. Beyond Jurassic Park, his career flourished with roles in films like The Piano and the Peaky Blinders series. Recently, Neil revealed a personal health battle, which only reinforced how admired he is. He's as respected as ever, balancing between acting and his passion for winemaking in New Zealand. We're glad he's still around, with a presence that never fades. Hey, Dan, freeze! Get the cat! I think we're back in business. <laughs> Laura Dern was 26 when she brought Dr. Ellie Sattler's intelligence and toughness to life in Jurassic Park. Now 57, she's more celebrated than ever, with two Oscars and a thriving career that spans everything from Blue Velvet to Big Little Lies. Her return to the franchise in Jurassic World, Dominion was a nostalgic highlight for fans. Dern's ability to evolve while staying true to her roots is what makes her an enduring star. Time's done little to dull her energy. It's like she's just getting started. You keep shining, Laura, timeless like Ellie Sattler herself. You're dilated. They Take are. the luck. It's okay. I'll be damned. John, if the Pirates of the Caribbean breaks down, the Pirates don't eat the tourists. I can't wait anymore. Something went wrong. At 40 years old, Jeff Goldblum charmed audiences with his eccentric wit as Dr. Ian Malcolm, giving us one of the most quotable performances in film history. Today, at 71, Goldblum remains effortlessly cool, with that signature charisma still intact. Whether it's his jazz performances or quirky fashion sense, He's aging like fine wine. His reprisal of Malcolm in the Jurassic World sequels gave longtime fans exactly what they wanted. More gold bloom, more life, more chaos theory. Some people just get better with age and he's proof. Here's to a legend whose charm is as enduring as Jurassic Park itself. Convince ourselves that sudden change is something that happens outside the normal order of things, like a car crash. And I'm delighted to meet you finally in person, Dr. Grant. Still, I can see that my... Richard Attenborough brought warmth and a touch of delusion to the character of John Hammond, the visionary behind the dino disaster. When Jurassic Park was released, Attenborough was already 69 years old, a veteran actor and director. Sadly, he passed away in 2014 at the age of 90 leaving behind a rich legacy that includes not only Jurassic Park, but also his Oscar-winning direction of Gandhi. His portrayal of Hammond, a man both dreamer and cautionary tale, remains one of the most memorable parts of the film. Rest easy, Mr. Hammond. We'll always remember your spared no expense spirit. And then she went all the way down to that hospital in Costa Rica to ask somebody who she didn't even know whether the rumors were true. Clever girl. 
Bob Peck's intense, focused performance as the game warden Robert Muldoon, clever girl, made him unforgettable, even if his time on screen was short. Peck was 47 years old when Jurassic Park premiered. Tragically, he passed away in 1999 at just 53 due to cancer, cutting short a promising career. Known for roles in Edge of Darkness and The Odyssey, he was an actor of serious talent and dedication. His portrayal of Muldoon left an impact that lingers. No Jurassic Park discussion is complete without his iconic line, Rest in peace, Bob. You'll always be remembered as the ultimate raptor hunter. I've got her. Go. Now! that a group composed entirely of female animals will breed? No. B.D. Wong was just 32 when he played Dr. Henry Wu in Jurassic Park, a small role that became pivotal in later films. Now 63, Wong's career has soared with standout performances in Law & Order, SVU, and Mr. Robot. His return to the Jurassic World series as a morally complex version of Wu is a testament to his range and versatility. While time has certainly passed, Wong's sharp, sophisticated energy hasn't aged a day. He's one of those actors who keeps elevating every role he touches. Dr. Wu, you may have created chaos, but BD, you've perfected your craft. We want control. There's no such thing. As the young Tim Murphy, Joseph Mazzello was just nine years old when he starred in Jurassic Park. Now at 40, Mazzello has gone on to establish himself as a solid actor, known for his work in The Social Network and Bohemian Rhapsody. He's grown up gracefully in Hollywood, avoiding the pitfalls many child actors face. Though he's taken on more mature roles, for many fans, he'll always be that kid trying to outrun a T-Rex. His journey from child actor to seasoned professional is inspiring. Keep up the good work, Joseph. We've been rooting for you since day one. It's a unique system. I know this. Ariana Richards, who played Lex Murphy, was 13 when Jurassic Park was released. Now 44, she's shifted away from acting to focus on a successful career as a painter. While she's left the Hollywood spotlight, she hasn't forgotten her Jurassic Park roots, frequently connecting with fans. Richards's art reflects the same creativity and passion she brought to her performance. Even though she's no longer acting, her portrayal of Lex remains iconic, representing resilience and bravery. You've traded one art form for another, Ariana and we're happy to see your talents shine on. The Velociraptor. It's inside. Ah, ah, ah. You didn't say the magic word. Ah, Please! Ah, ah. God ah, damn it! Ah, ah. Hate this hacker! Ah. Samuel L. Jackson was 44 when he played the chain-smoking, stressed-out Ray Arnold in Jurassic Park. Today, at 75, he's one of the most recognized and beloved actors in the world. From Pulp Fiction to the Marvel Universe, Jackson's prolific career has made him a household name. Though his role in Jurassic Park was relatively small, his famous line, hold on to your butts, remains a fan favorite. Jackson's career longevity and consistent cool factor are nothing short of legendary. No one says it like you do, Samuel. You've held on to your greatness all these years. Hold on to your butts. Da! 
Dodson! Dodson! We've got Dodson here! See, nobody cares. Wayne Knight's portrayal of the sneaky, disgruntled Dennis Nedry is unforgettable. He was 38 when Jurassic Park came out, and at 68, he's still remembered fondly for both this role and his part in Seinfeld as Newman. Knight's mix of humor and villainy gave Jurassic Park a unique edge, and his iconic uh-uh-uh moment has become a meme for the ages. These days, he continues to act, mostly in voice roles, but his work as Nedry remains a high point in his career. You made mischief fun to watch, Wayne. Thanks for all the laughs, intentional or not. What do you want? What do you want? You want food? Look at me. I just fell down a hill. I'm soaking wet. I don't have any food. I have no food on me. Thanks for joining us on this trip down memory lane. It's incredible to see how the Jurassic Park cast has evolved over the years, both on and off the screen. If you enjoyed this nostalgic look back, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content like this. See you in the next one.